All right, we're back. What do we got today? This is an interesting item. Dock link Bluetooth adapter for iPod music dock stations. All right, do you guys all remember when we had iPods? Remember that, see that, that weird connector down there? Remember that, remember that? Let's check this out. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so what you do, like, I've got a situation like this on my home theater. I bought this, like, oh man, it's been a few years, but back in, for, for you new people, back in the day, iPod, not, not pad or phone, pod, that's all it was, was pod. It was like, you were, you had one or you didn't, and if you didn't, well, we felt bad for you. They started making these stations where you drop your iPod into them, and then the music would come out, the stereo speakers, all that, it was amazing. And then uh, fast forward to whatever we live in and out, they don't use this connector anymore. So everyone's got these like stations that nothing works to it. I mean, your old iPod still, but like you got your phone, you can't hook it up. Well, this solves that. This is a Bluetooth receiver that plugs right into the old station, and then you Bluetooth to this. How great is that? Like, I, I'm not even exaggerating. My home theater system that I have which was fairly nice at the time. It was a THX certified 7.1 surround sound. Had an option because iPods were the rage for a, uh, for a cable that hooked to the back with a docking station that you could drop your iPod into. I spent over $100 on that thing just to have it a few years it become obsolete. So now I'm gonna put this in there and I can hook my phone to it. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's check out this uh, elaborate instructions here. Ooh, look at them all. Man, alive. I don't know if you can read that. You want to pause that and read it on your own if you lost your instructions. We're going to do some close-up zooms here. You're going to have to find the one you're looking for with the glare just right on the old pause button. I'm convinced you can do it. I know you can. I know I just went backwards and all that, but it's here. All right, if you don't speak the language I just showed, I'll give you a shot on this side too. I mean, this isn't going to be a long video. I just, uh, I saw this, uh, this in the bin the other day, the old discount bin. And I was like, what is that little thing there? And then once I finally figured out what it was, I was like, oh man, I didn't even know that was a thing. Like, I didn't even know that was an option. I'm so excited right now. It's got like a little clickety clack button there. Looks like you even have the headphone jack. So I think you can, uh, you can port right into it, I think, potentially. I don't really know what that's all about. I know nothing about this thing. Auxiliary jack in. Well, that's kind of cool. So like... You plug this into your speaker, whatever, your, 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 your station, and now you can port right into it. It allows you to port in if your station doesn't have a port in. So that's even a, another better uh, benefit. That's pretty cool. It's made of aluminum there. It's pretty nice. I have no idea what something like this costs. I paid a dollar. I wish you the best of luck in your endeavors. That's it. Invery? Invery? I have no idea. There you go, kids. Enjoy. Bring back your old stations. I'm excited. I might actually do a follow-up video on this, me uh, using it. That'd be great. Stay safe.